Hey man, you need to hear this. If you're looking for fast, cheap, and reliable muck coins, I highly recommend to check out my sponsor, DMC Discount Muck Coins, and use code 187 for 10 percent off at checkout. Going to represent the Falcons in the round of 32, coming up in mid-December, and let's kick this thing away. Boogs is going to get it first, and it's Demarco at the 10-yard line. If you're an offensive player like Boogs and you get the ball first, it's like it's you need seven because you don't you don't want to rely on your defense to get a stop or anything like that. You need to get seven right here for Boogs. Three is not going to do it. But Here's the he, playbook. So we talked about that Seattle last time for Boogs. He's in that Seahawks offense. He does not like West Coast because there's this play called clear out. And, and they uh, see greedy. Jets defense is going to be going up against. Yeah, that doubles north that he had in Vikings offense was actually insane. He had stretch and die from there. Just a really good combo from that Vikings offense. And then defense, he has 1-4-6 and 3-4 bear. That's why he picks that Jets playbook. Well, here we go. We know the playbooks. They're setting up their audibles, getting ready to go. 62% of the community thought Boogs was going to win. Here in the final, only 4%. That's the lowest out on social media. They thought Greedy would even be here. People probably didn't know who Greedy was. Like, cause he changed his name. Yeah, that's that's probably true. Didn't have the name recognition. Yeah. Underrated King, you saw him just get beat by Greedy. He will not be repeating. And then we talked about Mustafa Jones back in Madden 18. Gonna have a new champion here tonight for the Falcons. Let's get it going here. Boogs, quick throw to the outside. There's Smith. And Darius Slay will cut his feet out from under him at the 31. If you guys don't know, this is 3-4 even that Greedy's running. And user is Boogs' main lab partner, and that's what user runs, 3-4 even. So he has a lot of reps versus this. Don't be surprised if Boogs knows what he's doing versus this defense. He got uncomfortable in the semifinal. That's how he almost lost the game before yeah. a Madden miracle here in the Redwood City. He's struggling versus defense he's never seen before, but now this is something he knows. Jackson will escape to the outside. And he's going to throw it deep for Tyreek Hill. We already got a touchdown, folks, and it's Boogs. Here goes Tyreek Hill, man. That's his favorite player. Lamar Jackson put it on the money. A disgusting throw, and I mean that in a good way. And we got a 7-0 ball game. Two plays, 74 yards for Boogs. I'm telling you, man. If I'm playing against Boogs, I make him work for it. I'm, I make him take those flats. I make him take those corner routes. Nothing, you can't give up a streak to Tyreek Hill. That's the main thing. And DJ gave that gave up the streak like three times in, that, in the first game. But yeah, now. here it is again. Look at this throw on the run. Yikes. See, you know, being being backstage and watching the game, you'd think, you know, you, you wouldn't give that up. But primetime still hasn't learned. Would you rather be the guy that plays the first game, the first semifinal, or the second semifinal? Uh, I'd probably be the first. Yeah, because you get time to kind of settle in and watch, right? Scout yeah. it. Yeah, because if, you, if you're the second semifinal, you have to think about your first game first. You win your first game, then you just, you're just you just worried about the second guy. Short turnaround for Greedy. Of course, you have that momentum. That's, that's the plus for playing the second game is, hey, I just won. Put me back on the sticks. Let me play yeah, again. For sure, for sure. So he'll have time to set up his audibles now after giving up the big play to Boogs. And we're going to see that Vikings offense. You don't see a lot of it, but that doubles north, putting in a little work. I want to see if Boogs knows what he's going to do versus this offense. I know for sure that Boogs is not, like, he's never played against this offense. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be freestyling, seeing what works versus it, and he's going to try to find, find the defense mid-game. Aikman will go up under center. Jackson with the motion. <laughs> You know, hand it off to Portis. See, there's Troy Palomalu waiting right there on the edge. I like that pursuit from his safety. Troy Palomalu, he clicked on, wrapped around, and made the tackle. Good stuff by Boots. The eight-time Pro Bowler makes the stop, and we're going to have a second and ten. By the way, we were watching semifinal number two, but we were also getting pretty geeked up about the items that were dropping. Oh, yeah. For the latest... Uh, Madden program. Uh, Eric Dickerson. It's going to be nuts. Don't be crazy. He might be on the team. We got to look forward to those coming up a couple weeks. Of course, in mid-December as well. Eggman can't get rid of it. 
as Deion Jones doing Deion Jones things. Prime time's missing the read, man. The, the in route was wide open. He got greedy. Maybe that, that's why his that's why his name is Greedy. I don't know, but he was looking for the corner out, which was covered, and the in route was wide open. Third and 19. Not ideal. Pushes them all the way back to the 16 yard line. Already trailing by a touchdown. He's in this 3-4 even. Whew, he's about to scream at him. He is about to scream at him. Oh, he ran stretch. Hands it off to Portis. Nobody home, and you got to get your boot out. Wow, he ran on a third and 19 chat. That is actually insane. And I honestly see why he did it. Like he was blitzing everybody. There's a chance he's gonna oh, grab it. And now this is gonna get blocking? way out of bounds. Almost blocked the punt. And, <laughs> and nearly got a roughing the punter. That would have been wild. Oh, that would have hurt because Boogs would have had no control over it. But you know, sure, I'm accepting that. First and ten. Anytime there's some money on the line, I'm surely accepting that. Boogs was a semifinalist for the Steelers, semifinalist for the Lions, runner up with the Lions. He has never won one, and he's trying to do it for the hometown team, for the Atlanta Georgia native. Full motion outside. Jackson will skate away. He'll put it up top. Tyree yep. Kill. Same play, yep. same result. Now come out and lock up again. Boogs is feeling it, man. Tyree Kill is just taking him to the promised land. Streak, 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 streak. Have they not learned their lesson yet? Let's go, Lamar. He's not doing anything different than we saw. The difference is he's up 14 to nothing. Could this finally be his moment? We'll find out. We got a long way to go. One more lockup. Take a look at this again. He's going to roll out to the left time this, this, and put it up top for Hill. The pressure comes in, but Lamar Jackson's too fast. That's why you get a uh, skate artist. It's the, it's the biggest reason. You just escape from the pressure. Not many players do it better. Maybe Michael Vick. Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson. That's the, that's the discussion I always see on Twitter. People get people get really emotional about that. Like Michael Vick, you know he. Vick's got that throw power. He was just in a bad scheme. <laughs> they hand it off to Portis. Oh my God. Portis in the edge. Troy Apke chasing him down. No, he, didn't. he won't catch him. Clinton Portis, man. And he's gonna be down at the one yard line. Oh, Big 74 that. yard gain. That dude, well, Clinton Portis. Side. I can't believe he actually got caught. I thought that was gonna be an easy touchdown. And man, this stretch is actually insane. King couldn't stop it. it looked I'm like not sure I wouldn't have dove for the pylon yeah. there. Oh yeah, for sure. Look how close this is. Nearly a yard away. First and goal at the one. Back to Portis, just a formality. Touchdown for Greedy. And now he makes it a one score game with this extra point up and it's good. I'm prime time, man. I need other than Hill to beat me right here. Hill's he's making all the plays for books for the past two games. Dude, I need to see Marvin Harrison do something. I need to see John Ross do something. It's not, not Tyreek. Got to stop giving up the big play. Look at this long run, though. Portis getting to the edge, and Troy Apke can't catch him. It looked like Troy Apke was about to get him. He was like right on his back, but then on the sideline, he just started getting away from him. Troy Palmo ended up tackling him, but. Oh. Certainly Troy has been, Troy Palomalu, I should say, not Apke, has been the best safety here in the tournament. Oh yeah. Head and shoulders above the rest, but getting kind of tired of that pun. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shocked here if, it was, if this is a touchdown, <laughs> the way it's going. Bunch to the right. <laughs> See if he's learned his lesson. RB's wide open, he leads him up, and Marvin Harrison will drag the toes. Four for four for 161 yards to start the ball game. Greedy can't stop this play, man. Tyree Kill on the streak is just absolutely just destroying him. He doesn't know what to do versus this. I guess the good news is it wasn't a touchdown. Yeah. 
trying to put the silver lining out there. If I'm greedy, man, I get out this defense. He's running, he's rolling away from the pressure every time. Quick throw outside, Tyreek and Darius Slade Jr. will force him out of bounds at the 31. Second and two. That's the shortest game of the game thus far. He knows that he's sending seven. Easy read. And he'll just throw it out there again. This time Smith won't get anything, though. Maybe a yard. And here comes a third and one. Third and one. I think Boogie's going to go back to the swing tight Z dive with the motion. This is his bread and butter so far in these type of situations. Let's see what he does right here. I'm pretty sure he's going to do it. I don't know if Greedy's going to stop it with this defense right here. No way. I see DeMarco come in motion and then Edmonds here on third and one. He's working this clock a bit. And he goes to Edmonds and he'll squeeze his way through and pick up the first down, gain of three. He just called halfback inside zone by accident, I'm pretty sure, because, you know, last game he ran dive like five, four or five times. That time he ran inside zone. I don't know, maybe he did that on purpose. But. Nevertheless, it moves the chains, and judging by the 97 ounces of water he's drinking over there, we're headed to the second quarter. 14-7. to seven. It was 14 unanswered by Boogs. And Greedy came back with a score of his own, but old Reginald Brown, a.k.a. Boogs, is on the drive once again. Back in this bunch. This is where, you know, this is why Boogs wants to win this club, man. He's gonna, the cop's going to go up to 925. He actually can afford to get a running back. He can, he can actually run the ball in these situations, but since he doesn't have it, he has to pass. Might throw a pick or something. Jackson rolling out. It's Marvin Harrison to pick up the first down and lay down at the 15. He is seven for seven now. If you don't know, man, Lamar Jackson is making every throw right now. You know, here, here and there, you'll see him in other clubs. He'll be inconsistent. He'll overthrow some stuff. Boogs is on the good side of things. Lamar Jackson is just accurate right now. So now first and 10 from the 15. 432 to go here in the second. And he's chewing clock. He knows he gets ball at half. He wants to make sure Greedy doesn't get another chance. Trying to go by two scores. Edmonds, not much there. Going to be a gain of two. I love how Books has this one run, though. You know, he's, he doesn't have like a minor runner. He just wants to have that one run to give him consistent, consistent yardage. Just has to dive right here. So he draws up here in the red zone as we go under four minutes remaining in the first half. Man, his stat line is actually insane. They're like seven for seven, 180 and two touchdowns. Like, that's unheard of. That's like, I don't know how many yards that is per, per attempt, but that is crazy. It's a lot. Second and eight. Hands it off to Edmonds. And he's a small back. Not a lot of explosiveness, but he works his way to the eight. Yeah, that's what I like about small backs. If the hole's not that big, he still go through, but he's just not explosive enough. If that was like Clint Portis or Barry Sanders, someone like that, <laughs> that'd got to be a touchdown. I'm saying Barry Sanders now because the, he's coming out. Yeah, I'm I, 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 hey. We're not even, we don't have promos for you to read, but you're doing great. <laughs> Keep putting them out there, Janie. Third and three. You're just excited to put one of those guys on your team. I know how it is. Sir. Pinch down the linebackers. Here's DeMarco coming across, and we're going to have a f delay of game. We'll push this back. I mean, I don't know what Boogs is thinking. You know, if it's a third and three, he can still get the first down by running the ball. But now he, he's not giving his running back a chance to get a first down. Now he has to pass. Got kind of cute there. Yeah, but this does give him some passing room back at the 13-yard line. He'll run it anyway. Oh, yeah. That running back is so oh, slow, man. man. 11 cap running back. Oh, didn't invest in one. 
Boy, that's a, almost maybe a bit outside the accuracy zone. Yeah, if he came on the field goal block, he had a chance right here to block it. She's in a regular defense, though, and Boogs will run this down. Got really conservative in the red zone. Kick is up, and it's good. Boogs is like, I, can, I only got plays that throw for like 70 yards. <laughs> I, I don't have anything. What is 20 yards? <laughs> down here within the red zone. No, that's facts. And he'll kick it away. This is the most explosive offense I've seen so far, though. You know, you're going I haven't seen this many bombs in one, you know, in two games in a club in a long time. I don't think no, I don't, I don't think anyone has an explosive offense like this so far. Most teams don't even bring a quarterback. Yeah. First and ten. Hand it off to Portis. And I'll take us to the two-minute warning. Click on, make the tackle, baby. Strini's brother playing earlier this week with Matt Schaub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had no chance of passing if the run was stopped. Schaub was, you know, a little bit of a glitch back in the day. It's been a while. Second and 14 coming your way here at the two-minute warning. It's 17 to 7. Ten-point deficit facing Greedy, but he does have the ball. Certainly must score before the half. So many limited possessions with a 20-minute game. If Palmo just set it off that block, if he did hold that block, that could have been a crib shot, but, you know, Boogs with his user, took on the receiver, shrugged him off the way, and got the tackle with the secure tackle. Saw this game will be available later on on our competitive Madden YouTube. Sure, you check it out. Swings it to the outside and pressure and accurate. well overthrown. Pressure got to him. Wow, it's just his first pass of the game, and now all of a sudden, here's a fourth and 14, and get a stop here. Books is going to have a chance to put some more points on the board. Yeah, you got a pressure and knock it right there. A lot of people have been talking about on Twitter. You know, you got to get the escape artist so you're not enforced in those situations where you know the pressure comes in and then the knocker pass happens. So. No, that's what. That's another reason to get escape artists. Get so you're not in situations like those. No, Greedy's in a spot where he needs this 14 yards, or he, or this game can be. This game could be done quick if he doesn't get this. Fourth and 14, showing a lot of pressure here at the 24-yard line. Jackson will come to the right side. Troy Aitman sets and throws. That's in the coverage, and it's picked off. Troy Palomalu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's going to get busy with it. Go, and works his way uh, all the way down to the 23-yard line with plenty of time Go, and two Troy. timeouts for Boogs. Man, Boogs is just playing good on offense and defense right now, get both seven, sides. Yeah. And he says, let's get seven. He doesn't want three. He wants to finish the game right now. Gets ball at half. Boogs I don't mind seven. throwing it up on fourth down, you know, sort of like a long punt. But yeah. That was easy pickings for Palomalu. I go Covington. Here's Jackson in the gun. See if Book stays conservative here, knowing he's going to get the ball. Start the third. Rolls out with Jackson. I think he threw it across the line. This is a touchdown, oh, but I think that's going to be brought back. And it will be. Book said that was a throwaway. Maybe Lamar Jackson just might be the best ever. <laughs> it certainly wasn't a right stick throwaway. I yeah. can tell you that. So he runs it with Edmonds, and there's a timeout coming in from Greedy. Third and 15. So it was a illegal forward pass as he went past the line of scrimmage. That yeah. cost him five yards and lost it down. And now he's facing, after the run, a third and 15. Boogs just doesn't know what, I uh, know Boogs. Um, Greedy just does not know what to do versus his bunch. I don't know. He's not getting pressure versus it. He's not making great adjustments versus it. He's struggling. I mean, this has been the offense go to for decades. And they go to Harrison. Down to the 15 yard line. And we got a timeout here, fourth and two at the 15. Boogs is thinking about going oh, for it. I want to go for this so bad, yo. He got nobody that can spy Lamar. 
He's thinking through I it right now. Lamar, I'm gonna take my points. Oh my god. He's gonna bring the kicker That's out here course. for 32 yarder. Honestly, I don't mind him going for it. I don't mind him yeah, kicking three. He gets the ball at half. He's gonna be in a good spot either way. Yeah, I'm still right here, yeah. I had a touchdown too. Man. See how that affects it. Yeah. 54 yeah. seconds. One timeout's yeah. gonna be remaining for Greedy. Yeah. Another positive going for it. He makes sure that prime time or uh, Greedy doesn't get another yeah. chance at getting the ball here. Get some pressure, but man. now he gets the ball. He oh, might crib a run, yeah. and that might change the whole game. Touchdown here would certainly make it interesting. Needs a big play, as you say. Well, mark the ball at the 28-yard line. That's where the drive will begin. There's the motion. Goes outside to Portis. No sir. Boogie's got the defense for this. Seven rushes, 66 yards. He had one long run, with like 50 or 60 yards. Everything else has been put, you know, in a bag. Second and 13. Gives it to Portis. And brought down again by Troy P. And here's a timeout. Uh, uh, uh. We've seen some runners move on in the club. We've seen some throwers move on. I think we have a good mix in the round of 32. Oh, yeah. It's going to depend on the matchups based on how the teams rank in the standings in week 15. So that's the tie in to the NFL. Should be interesting. Throw to the outside. Oh, come on, Dion. And Dion knocks it away. 15 seconds. I mean, he, he just can't move right now. Boogie's just playing great defense. He has the bag for this offense. Uh, if I'm greedy, I got to go to something else. This doubles north. Boy, he kicks it to Dion just right away. That's going to set up for a return. Gets a block. And nowhere to go for Dion. If you're Boogs, you might take a knee. Or we might go up to Tyreek. <laughs> we might go up to Tyreek. First and 10 at the 35. He might take a shot. And he will go up top. Peterson, Garden Hill, and it's caught by oh, Tyreek. Oh, oh, oh. And he's oh down goodness, at the two-yard line. I don't know what's going on, defense. And we come to halftime. Your score, 20 to 7. It's been all bugs here in this first half. Of course, we got him wired up here at the club. All right, Lamar. Make every throw, baby. Come on, baby. Where's my flat at? Gotta blow that up. That's why we moved you inside. Click on, make the tackle, baby. Yep. Yep. Now come out here and lock up again. Orchester playing for $6,500. A chance to represent the Falcons in the round of 32. And of course, that beautiful custom made trophy for the winner here tonight. And certainly looks in favor of Boogs right now with a 13 point lead, Drini. And he's going to get the ball to start the half. Oh, actually, Greedy's getting the ball. Oh, he's kicking it away. I didn't know that. Shoot. Okay. Wait, what, world, what world we, were we living in? Yeah, I 100% thought that Boogs was getting the ball at half, but it's actually Greedy. So Greedy's still in the game. See, I thought Boogs at the ball was over. Greedy just can hit Greedy. So I'm okay, actually, with Boogs kicking that field goal. I think that was a good decision. Yeah. Greedy not forcing it. Now he's going to have an opportunity to start it. This is run is just absolutely caged right now, man. Whatever Boogs labbed in the backstage, it's paying off right now. That goes down as error 47 for me today. Keep it under 50. Everybody's cool. Second and nine. Rolling out, throwing. Nice hit. Had a crosser in case. You know, Boogs wanted to play aggressive with his user. He was just throwing the crosser for a touchdown. Boogs had to stay deep. With his I user. guess Boogs did score on the first play of the game. Yeah. Right? So yeah. he had the ball for like, I don't know. See, that's what it was. It was two plays. Two plays, 49 seconds on the opening 75-yard drive for Boogs. And here we go. To the outside, third and four. Tyreek leaning for the marker. He's going to be short. Great user by Boogs. They didn't leave that. They didn't leave that drag route. He thought uh, Greedy thought that Boogs was gonna get off of him and try to use the post, but he just stayed true with his user, stayed with that drag, tackled them before he got the first down. Troy Amian on a big fourth and one. 
Shotgun formation. Drops back. Got to get oh, rid of it. On, it's going to depend on the spot, Ooh. and it will be a first down. Pretty sure you got it from like, like a yard, a yard after it. Get the inches. And Ooh. Portis, Ooh. after the fourth down conversion, he's running out. Huh. All the way down to the 33-yard line. Back-to-back -back big plays. My God. That's how you use jukebox right there. Making two guys miss in the open field. Jesus, that was fast. Shh. Aikman now in the gun. Able to pick up the bit, the blitz. The quick quick throw to the 29. It's audibly around. He's mixing it up and he's finally driving. It's because he's not staying in this formation when it's, you know, when Boogies has the defense for it. He's, you know, going around different formations, seeing what can work. Oh. Stepping, looking, and he'll oh, force it into I coverage. Need to fire. Come on, patient. Come on, man. man. Close it out. Why not? Why not be more patient? Greedy's telling himself he has to be more patient, wait for his user to make a play. He stayed with that streak. He has to throw the corner out. That's why he's mad at himself. And do you, if you can see his receivers right now, he has 12, he has 10 cap. I don't know who that is, number 12, BB. <laughs> B.B. and Lee Smith at receiver. I, I don't expect anyone to get open here. Don't disrespect B.B. Throws it up top. And that's a one-handed grab Lee. by Troy Apke at the one-yard line. Oh. Oh. A crazy INT down near the goal line. <laughs> now, one time did I do that. Wow. I mean, I don't know what he expected right there. It was a 10-cap receiver. He threw it up in you no know, single coverage. I don't know if he expected him to catch it or anything, but that was a bad read. You gotta send the heat. Definitely gotta send the heat right here. Time to go straight. Remember the Titans. Blitz all night. Down by 13. Motion out. And Lamar will get away and he'll put it up top. Tyreek Hill. We might have a oh man. A step away from a 99-yard touchdown. Game out. But it's a big play, nevertheless. Gets him out to the 46. A little breathing room for Boogs. Tyree Kill is just taking the coverage, taking the top of the coverage off every single play. I don't know how Greedy just keeps giving it up. Five receptions, 240 yards for Tyree Kill. He has more yardage than the Greedy's total offense. Here's Lamar now for Boogs. Under a minute to go in the third. He's pretty much been in command. Gets it out to Smith. He runs over Slay for a moment, and that'll pick up a few. Second and eight. Uh, you can't juke. I tried to juke him. I forgot I got it on from service. He ain't taking it off either. Taking no risk. He's talking to himself. Under 30 seconds now to go in the quarter. <laughs> Could be the final play of the third. Watch for him to roll out here. Lamar Jackson. Two possession game. 13 point lead and the ball. <laughs> Reggie rolls out. Looking downfield. Oh. Tyreek Hill, forget about it. Books. Go, How many times have we time, seen it man. over the last two games? And Tyreek one more time. He has a total of 300 yards right now. Tyreek Hill has 300 yards right now. I mean, two-point conversion. Hands it off to Edmonds, and he'll just Edmonds, walk in. Let it go, man. 28 to seven. Mm. Mama, we got life. Final Close seconds out. of the third here. Yeah, at this point, Boogie just got to make him work on offense. Or when Greedy's on offense, Boogie's got to make him work. Make him take some time Look off. this again. He's going to go up top one more time to Hill. Lamar Jackson with the laser. Looked like he had dashing dead eye. On the run, and it's accurate. 
He's put up nearly 400 yards while Greedy just went over the 100 yard mark. Look at this. Most MCS major appearances. And with a win here, Boogs would surpass Drini to move into third spot. Take that, Drini. Did they count the one I just won? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah man. Forget Boogs. <laughs> Let's go, Greedy. Come on. Joke still got a chance coming up in a couple weeks. Folks have been playing a little bit longer than you have. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's been playing since the beginning of Ma uh, Madden 16, MCS. Trying to make his ninth appearance with a win here. Certainly looks in control. This would be a monumental collapse by oh. Boogs. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've seen him last game. He was up 10, just blew it. Oh, the, you know, we've seen this with you know, great passers like Young Kiv and others, Skimbo. Yep. It's hard to clock a game out when yeah. you're a passer. For sure. You just can't, you can't run the ball and like take three downs with you like every single time. It's, you know, if you're a passer, you're trying to go quick. What's in his favor now is the 42nd play clock instead of 30. Oh, God. And that's in the coverage. Ross can't come up with it. Aikman just oh, six of 12. You can tell Greed is just not comfortable passing. Pass. Once once Boogs got him out that run game, you no, know, it was over. Boogs just got him out of his primary scheme, and, you know, Greedy didn't know what to do from there. It's been a good run for Greedy, though. I mean, he came in with a career earnings of $525. He's certainly, you know, times that by five, just getting to this point. And with a win here, push Re Reggie up to... 86,000. Long throw. Have you met Deion Sanders? He's in the secondary. Loaf of bread time. <laughs> Gets to the outside. Oh, God. Making moves. A little prime time for the Falcons. What does that bring back some memories? And it's another oh. turnover. Under four minutes to play now for Bugs. Turnover number three of the game for Greedy. Just playing st stellar defense, man. Boogs didn't even give him a chance at moving the ball this whole game. Greedy had one run, just one long run, and then after that, just nothing was there. I'll say it. I mean, Atlanta Falk Dion was my favorite Dion. <laughs> just, just, just an absolute walking highlight. What about the Cowboys, Dion? Not having it. Oh, <laughs> Not having it. I need the dirty birds in my life. Oh yeah. 28 to 7. Hey, chat. Durag really might have a juice, chat. Talking the about Dugati. The Durag hasn't lost. I, I mean, you've shed the bandana. I feel like you've gotten way worse. <laughs> I passed the torch, bro. <laughs> 28 to 7. I mean, Books has playing, been playing for so long. I think he was in the first tournament that RG ever covered. I want to think this is back in like 2011. And RG, I think, called him the wrong name. I think, I don't know what he called him Bugs or Boogs or Bugs or. <laughs> but he's like, oh, it's Bugs. I think it's bougie or something. I don't know what RG said. We'll have to get the full story from him when we see him in a couple weeks. But this is a big win for Boogs. I know he's had a lot of big wins. But he's never won a championship in Madden in anything. He's certainly going to be moving on to his ninth appearance all time and an MCS major. But I know he's excited. He's never been a champion. Play. I know he's excited. Never won a belt, never won a club. He's going to move to 57 and 24 in this MCS era that started all the way back in Madden 16, right here in San Francisco, in fact. Uh. Serious move that beat Skimbo during Super Bowl 50. So they. Down in San Francisco has certainly seen a lot of great Madden. And this one's 
all but done with these turnovers. Held to seven points, really just one big run. Yeah. That's that's all that Greedy had here, Jeannie. Yeah, that one run gave him hope, but he never took advantage of it. He's trying to fight right now. Actually, finally, finally finding some dots, but, you know, where was this in the middle of the game? Boogs in the online stage actually got pushed to the loser's bracket early by Golfer in a 17-3 ball game. Had to beat Legend. Then he had to beat Golfer again. He lost 17-3, and then he beat Golfer 21-3. So not an easy road for Boogs. That's a lot of games just to get to this point. And this one will hit the turf. Third and two and coming. But a great day of Madden. Appreciate everybody that's been hanging out. Being so gracious to us, letting us come out here and call these games throughout the years. We got a lot of good ones still to come. And that one will be incomplete as well. Clock stop, 142 to go now. Here's a fourth down. Just seems like anything Greedy really tries to do is just not going to work. Book just is all over what he's doing right now. Well, you made a great call at the beginning of the game. You say, you know, you, you notice he was 3-4 you know, even. He's like, you knew he had plenty of reps for Boogs against that defense. Yes. And you felt like Boogs was going to have a good game. Uh, I could have told you before the game started. If I, if I knew he was in 3-4 even, I could have told you Greedy wasn't going to have a chance in it. Everybody. You just have to go all the way back to even that field goal block. And they will say GG's to each other, and the GG's will hit the chat. Boogs has finally done it. He's won a club, and it's for his hometown team in Atlanta, Georgia. 28-7. to seven. There he is, the legend grows. Dugati Boogs never lost with a do-rag on. Got a little lucky on that field goal block for his six, but he took advantage of it with next game. Got another, another chance at life and he got it done. Take a look at the bracket. This is how he got here. It was a scoop and score in that 23 to 17 ball game on a block field goal that would have won it and then just explodes here in the final 28 to seven. He's finally done it and he's standing by with Evan. Thank you so much, Scott. We've got the guy who's who's had a long journey to be here. Bugs, you made it. You're from Atlanta, Georgia. You're now representing the Falcons as a club champion, man. Four years in a row. You did it on the fourth. How does it feel? It feels great, man. Honestly, it was a you know, it was a strategic decision, man. I, you know, I picked the Falcons club. I I really wanna, I mean, I've been putting tweets out there. You know, trying to throw those subliminals out there and let the Falcons know I really want to, you know, partner with you guys. I live in Atlanta. You know, let's make it happen. And so this is just the beginning of that journey right here. The legend continues. The do-rag obviously is it's got some kind of juice. I'm going to take it. There's and, something to it, man. There's something to it. There's something to it. I mean, what a journey, man. You, you move up to uh, number three all time in major appearances with nine. You actually just passed Drini over there. So that's an amazing achievement. This pushes you near $90,000 in career earnings for Madden. Describe to me what your journey in Madden has been like. It's been great, man. It's been crazy. Like, to just think about that, like, to be able to play a game that you love, you know, something that I've been doing all my life, you know what I'm saying? I've yeah. just been sitting at home playing Madden, you know, mom saying, hey, boy, if you don't get off that game, you know what I'm saying? So it's just <laughs> like for stuff like that to pay off and my mom to just be proud of me and, you know, my wife, you know, I put in so much work, you know, and that's really the first thing I think about every time. Like even like before that kick, I'm like, man, yeah. you just let a man take money out your, out your you know, yeah. basically stealing money from my wife. You know, that's the way I look at it every yeah. time I come out here. So just to be able to, you know, continue and still have a shot at 100K and just continue to just create that legacy and just just get better every day. I mean, I'm honored. I'm appreciative. Yeah. I'm ready to play. That's a great way to look at it, man. And, you know, you've got $6,500 now coming to you no matter what. And obviously this isn't the end of your journey. It's been a long one, but it's still uh, got a few chapters left. And, and I want to look forward to the clubs in 32. You got a little bit of a break. You got some time to relax. What's going to be your process of preparing since most people don't know what goes on in preparing for tournaments like this? I'm just looking for a new wrinkle. Uh, nobody really knew. Nobody's been running Seattle Playbook. Yeah. Nobody's been using clear out the way that I use it. And, you know, it's just something that nobody expected. 
And, you know, I know now that tape is out there. And so people are going to be looking for that wrinkle. Yeah. So now, like, what's the next thing? That's the, that's the way I look at it. Just move on to the next thing, whoever the next opponent is. Just go from there and just relax and chill. Well, speaking of tape, we, you did get off to a pretty fast start there. We had uh, that early ball to Tyree Kill that kind of set things up and really opened the game for you. What did you see here? Man, I, you know, I knew. I was like, all right, well, we're going to come out. We're going to test him. We're going to see if he comes out here with all deep blues. You know, and then I know the the plastic and the bomb is going to be open, wide open over the top each time. So it's like, if I can get to the outside, and as long as Lamar delivers the throw, it's, it's easy picking. It, it's easy, man. And that continued to happen, man. Congratulations. We got something for you here. It's the trophy. I mean, a, a, fan, a, a fan like me, I, I'm, I'm in love with what you got to keep, man. But you earned this one, the Atlanta Falcons Championship Trophy for 2019. You can raise that high, celebrate the moment. This is all you, the Madden 20 Atlanta Falcons Club Championship finalist and, and winner now to represent them at 32. It's Boogs. Congratulations. Let's get it back to Scott for some highlights of the game. Well, this is how he did it. 